you guys are used to this atmosphere. You guys have been in all the tough atmospheres. You can probably expect the last couple of years. But what's it going to be like tomorrow? You think it makes you think you'll be ready for everything you'll face tomorrow? Yeah, it's uh, I mean, it's going to be everything we're expecting it to be. You know, even just regular season games are, um, you know, pretty live in there. And obviously, everybody knows what's at stake uh, going to that building, uh, including them. Um, but we just expect a, you know, a dog fight. And, um, you know, obviously we went through a lot of uh, difficult games this year over the last couple of years to, to get us prepared for these type of moments. So, um, you know, we'll definitely come in with the right mentality. And, um, you know, as long as we do that, we're, we're always um, going to give ourselves a chance. What are some of the specific challenges that the Sixers present for you guys? Um, a little bit of everything. I mean, they have size. They can shoot the ball, spread the floor. They're fast, athletic. Uh, you know, they're a physical team. And, you know, obviously they have a... Um, Two, uh, two, two major stars on that team who, who can put the ball in the hole at a very high level. Um, so, you know, it's going to take every every bit of, you know, it's like Coach says, all hands on deck. We're going to need everybody to uh, to be involved to, to get the job done. Does Joel's added passing that he's had this year, especially before the injury, as, as somebody who's now helping on, trying to get back to shooters, how yeah. much does that add to your assignment? Yeah. Uh, it's always tough. I mean, it's essentially trying to guard two every possession, you know, because you try to give as much help as you can with a guy like him, and he's gonna he's able to knock down shots and obviously just expand his game, getting off the ball um, at the right times uh, makes it difficult. But um, you know, it's it's stuff that we've seen before, and uh, we have the luxury of having guys like that on our team as well. So um, you know, it's two sides of the ball, so they're gonna have to do the same as as we do. So um, you know, it'll be a fun game. Caleb Tyrese had a. Rough shooting Christmas game, and then since then he's played you guys pretty well. Mm -hmm. He's had those trials where a lot of it's been over the top stuff. Yeah. When those are shots, you guys kind of want to give up by design. What's what's the philosophy there where he can hit those shots? I know you're trying to chase him behind. Yeah. What are you going to live with with him? Just you just got to do more. I mean, you just kind of get in that mode where, um, I mean, he, he he's who he is for a reason and. Uh, those guys get paid what they do for a reason, and you know that's what they that's what they do. So, um, you know we gotta, you know find the find the grit and, and find the um, mental stability to continue to, to to stay solid through through their runs, and also just find a way to do more, and make it more difficult as much as possible. Um, um, that's all you can do. Caleb, I know it's in the past, but obviously you were huge in the playoff run last year. What are you looking to take from that run to the, to the season? Just be aggressive. Um, Pass is the pass. Nobody lives off that. You know, it's what's done is done. So nobody cares about that starting tomorrow, you know, or, you know, starting the beginning of this year. Nobody cares about that, including myself. It's, obviously, it's great to have that experience and, you know, obviously to be able to take lessons from those from those past experiences moving forward. But um, it's a new year and new opportunity and, to, you know, to continue to uh, show people to, that you rise on those occasions. And um, I'm just happy I get to be in another environment like this in the postseason. Yeah, appreciate y'all. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. <clears throat> Playoffs just yet, but you are entering a big game, obviously, mm -hmm. you're playing. Uh, do you feel like maybe your college career playing four years, being in a lot of natural tournaments, Bob, like, do you feel like that's going to help you for this time? Um, I mean, yeah, I think so. Being in big time games in college, I mean, you know, obviously it's a different level, but I feel as if the intensity um, and the will to win is about the same. You know, you're playing for, you know, something a lot bigger than yourself you know one of these games you can lose you can go home and you kind of take that same mentality into um, this playing game what are the other guys on the team maybe told you about playing in, in playing game um you know it's intense you know like i said before you lose you have a chance to go home um and so you know bring that intensity bring the energy and it's just a different level of competition are you feeling closer to maybe yourself in the last week or two? It's sure it's looked like it production wise, but are you feeling like you're getting back to the level where you want to be? Um, yeah, definitely. I even think even a little before that, um, I, I feel like I caught like a second wind throughout the season is the way I would describe it. Um, and you know, body's feeling good, energy, energy levels are high. Um, you know, really excited to get into this postseason. Spoke said a few minutes ago that you guys have followed leaders in Bam and Jimmy with their experience as a unit. How much is it the whether it's up front of the bench or the starters outside of them, do you know their role and what they're going to need to do in those big moments? Um, you know, like I said, we just got to understand what our role is and produce. Um, when our, our time is called uh, to, to play minutes, important minutes, it's our job to go out there and produce and impact the team. Um, as coach would say, put our fingerprints all over the game. Um, and that's the mentality that we're coming with. We, you know, we know who we got to follow. Um, we trust in our leaders. They trust in us. Um, and as a collective, uh, I think we're in a great headspace. Yeah, what do you think you've improved on most defensively over the course of the season? Um, I would just say a lot of my discipline. Um, you know, not getting any cheap fouls or 
or, um, you know, any, as Coach Spo would say, glitches. Uh, I think I've toned those down, you know, as the course of the season uh, progressed. And I would say, yeah, just, you know, being very sound and disciplined on defense, um, being active, disruptive, uh, I think were areas where I felt as I improved. Is there, is there anything you appreciate about this league now that you've been through almost a whole year anyway, so before coming into it? Yeah, I mean, I just appreciate, you know, there's one thing, you know, being a fan and then to be a part of this league, um, I feel like it's a much deeper appreciation um, just for how well, you know, we're, we're taken care of, being able to play in front of you know, great fans throughout the country. Um, and I've just been so appreciative of everything. I got to meet so many great people, um, make great teammates and friends and, and memories through this first year. Um, and, you know, I got a deep appreciation even more so than, you know, being a fan, being able to understand what it's all about. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.